All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Office, and I wanted to follow up uh, a video I did yesterday talking about Joe Biden and the big meeting they're going to have today, talking about gun control and everything else. Uh, but I want to preface this video with a couple statements that are really applicable to what's going on in our environment with this administration. Uh, number one, he's destroyed our energy independence, the highest gas prices in history. One, uh, number two, the highest inflation rate in our history, a hidden tax on all people uh, that really affect more or less the, the poor people who pretty much are those guys who, in the big cities who don't use a car and everything else. And you voted for the guy. <laughs> you do not get credit for people returning to work, which is funny because he thinks he he's created this uh, employment market. Uh, no, you did not do this. Uh, our southern border security is non-existent, uh, which pretty means, much means that you're not doing your job. Uh, you've lost our standing as a global leader with the pullout catastrophe in Afghanistan. You're all about defunding police and don't lie about it. Oh, I'm not for that bullshit. Yes, you are destroying our way of life. And now you want to start the ban game on our Second Amendment. Okay, so now that we've prefaced that whole thing, um, I just I had to come up with some ideas because, in all honesty, the, 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 the things that are happening today in our society are incredible. Now you want to play the blame game, blaming guns for what's going on in our country. Um, I've written this down so I don't forget it. We don't have a gun problem. We've got a people problem that you don't want to address. Just like the energy industry, you want to blame the firearm industry for everything that happens. No, sir. It is your district attorneys, those people in the blue cities, uh, people going out shooting folks, and you let them out the same day. How does that work? And how is that a guns problem? Okay, what's coming up? This is what I anticipate is going to happen. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the typical everyday thing, ban everything that possibly can. And there's about six items that I feel like they're going to try to hammer us out. Uh, we're not even going to talk about Gettleman because that's a complete waste of time. It's, it's a, uh, uh, a favor for a buddy. It's uh, the old roommate for Barack Obama at Harvard. And uh, this guy was a district attorney. He has no knowledge of the firearm industry. Uh, you could probably tell him that this right here is a machine gun. And he'd be like, we got to ban that. So it just goes on and on and on. So here's what I think. And it's no big surprise. And, and tell me down below if you agree with me on this or not. All right. So one, of course, they're going to go after the magazines. And what's the old deal is that uh, you don't need a 30-round magazine or 100-round clipazoid or whatever these dumbasses want to call it uh, to go hunting deer. And which is, the, again, the whole thing is about we don't have the Second Amendment for hunting deer, right? I mean, how, how often do they get that? And, and their idea is that you shouldn't have anything uh, that... Uh, we shouldn't, actually, they just want to take everything away from us. I don't know what they're afraid of. It's kind of like when Chuck Schumer tried to do the whole anti-body uh, armor deal where you couldn't buy personal protection. Why would they do that? So that they can kill you. That's why. There's no other reason. All right, so we're going to also, number two, the so-called assault weapons ban. They're going to try to do that as well. They're going to call for it. If they can't do it, they're going to try to call for it. There's no reason why any individual human being should have one of these things. Or why do you need that? And just a mere idea that you're questioning my ability to exercise my Second Amendment right is a chappany rear end there. Um, they're also going to call, and in my opinion, a, a ban on mail order gun parts. Uh, and not just the polymer 80s. We're going to talk about that here in a minute, but any part. Or they're going to say that hey, if you want an upper receiver, uh, it's going to be serialized and you have to go through a background check. Or if you wanted, uh, I don't know, uh, a tripod head for your camera work. Uh, it's one of those things. It, it just blows me away. So metal order gun parts is one of the items I think they're going to get rid of. Mail order polymer 80 kits. We definitely know them. They've been coming after that for a very long time. So I feel... There's no reason to think that this is not going to be the same. Uh, they're also, in my opinion, going to go out for a ban on mail order ammo so that you have to go through a background check, which is absolutely bullshit. Uh, <laughs> and one of the other items is they're going to get rid of Plico, which is the ability to sue gun manufacturers. This is it. They're going to be like, well, why can't you, you know, you can sue Ford, but you can't sue a gun manufacturer. Well, you can sue Ford for a defect that causes death you can also sue a gun manufacturer for a defect that causes death 
but you can't sue Ford for someone going out and running into a bunch of people with one of their vans, which why does that mean that you get to do the same thing to a manufacturer of a firearm? Because one is there's no, they have no skin in the game Two, fucking Barack Obama. No, what is his name? Biden. Remember he rode the train back and forth. So he doesn't care about the high, the record high fuel prices because well, that's the greed of the fuel industry. Oh, don't get me started here, ladies and gentlemen. And he's surrounded by security. So he doesn't care about you or me or our ability to protect our, our rights because you can do it with a 22 caliber lever action uh, single shot, right? So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Those are the things that I think that they're going to be kicking out in today's meeting. It should be uh, interesting. With that being said, guys, always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform. Out there, my beloved 82nd Airborne, sitting right over there on across the border in Poland. You guys take care of yourself. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Boom.